Hey there, welcome to the Tranquil Shop. Unfortunately, by the time that this video comes up, Halloween will either be almost here or already over. Still not 100% sure which Monday I want to post this video and which Monday I want to post another video. Um, but in this video, I wanted to make a couple of Halloween sort of themed items that I wasn't expecting that I was going to make this year for Halloween. Recently, I've been seeing a bunch of people posting on social media these two items. And I was like, man, I really want to do that for the shop too. So while we are going to do it this year, I'm not going to be able to market them for Halloween. Like they'll still be up after Halloween because these are items that are going to be in the store for the entirety of fall. But I feel like marketing them is going to be a little bit harder because people aren't going to be looking for Halloween items after Halloween. Anyway, um, so in this video we are going to make a poisoned apple and candy corn. I just thought they were really interesting. I've been seeing the poisoned apple everywhere this year. I've been seeing it for months and I've been kind of considering, but the other day I finally like went for it and bought the pattern for it. So I am currently making that. Weirdly enough, it is an item made with sport yarn and that is not a yarn weight that I use. I know people who are watching this video and know nothing of crochet are like, what the hell are you talking about? It is an item made of thinner yarn than the yarn that I use. Um, so it's looking really big so far, but I'm going to make this one and then sort of change the pattern to make it fit more with worsted yarn, this thick yarn. But that is what I'm currently working on. I am, I don't know, a third of the way through it. It's going to be um, green, sort of like sludge and poison dripping down the red apple. I don't think that's something that I can do with a green apple because I'd have to figure out what poison isn't green, and I don't know, poison just sounds like a green sort of thing to me. One thing I also want to talk about just for a little bit is, um, I know I need to go the yarn. Ugh yarn shopping, okay? I'm aware. Um, this is the only red that I have left. And I know that this poison apple is going to be huge because I'm testing out the pattern first before I make any changes to it that I think I need, but I hope I have enough red yarn to finish. At least this big apple. And then maybe I'll go yarn shopping. I wonder if it's better to get it shipped or to actually go. On one hand, I have to pay $10 for shipping. On the other hand, I might be able to buy in bulk. Mm -hmm. So I know we talked before about how this poison apple was going to be really big and I knew it was going to be really big, but this is turning out to be really big. sun is really bright. Um, so I knew this was going to happen, but part of me still hoped that it wouldn't. I ran out of red yarn. And I know for a fact that I don't have any more, which means I do in fact have to go shopping. So I was at Walmart the other day for reasons that had nothing to do with this video. Um, you know, grocery shopping. And I just so happened to pass by their little, like, yarn and sewing section that they always have. And I was like, let's try it out, you know, let's see what they have. Just, like, for fun, I guess. Um, so I was looking through all of the different yarns that they have, and I came across this. Like, they have their own brand now of yarn, 
um, the Walmart brand, Mainstays, has their own yarn now, and I was checking it out, um, because I've never seen it before, despite the fact that I looked it up, and I think they've sold yarn, like, Mainstays yarn, since 2017. But apparently I never knew that. So I was checking out the yarn, and it's... Like, it feels kind of similar to Red Heart Super Saver. I was looking at the band to see how much was in it, and it's like 397 yards, which Red Heart Super Saver is 364. So I was like, oh, okay, you get more in this pack of yarn from Walmart than you do from a Red Heart Super Saver scheme. And then I looked at the price, and the Walmart yarn was like $2.62 or something like that. Um, whereas Red Heart, depending on where you get it, it's close to $3, a little closer to $3 than $2.60, or um, $5, again, depending on where you get it. Um, so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll try this out, this Walmart brand yarn. Um, so I bought Red. I also, I didn't bring it over here because I'm stupid. Um, I also bought a bunch of yellow because I realized I was running low on that. And I used the red to finish the poisoned apple. I should also note, um, by the way, like we knew that this one wasn't going to be in the store no matter what because it was too big. I just wanted to finish it to see how the pattern went. Um, this red is a different color than the red of most of the apple, which I completely did not think about while I was buying it. I was just thinking, oh, it's red yarn. Um, but depending on the brand of yarn that you get, and even then sometimes depending on the um, manufacturing lot of the yarn, sometimes the yarn is a different color than the yarn that you already have. So that was something that happened here. I'm not sure that it would show up on camera, but the area around here-ish um, is a different color than this. I think you can kind of see it. I don't know. But like I said, I knew that this wasn't going to be on the store because it was too big. So it didn't bother me. Um, I finished up the apple. I did all of the oozes around it and the stem and stuff and realized I, I actually really hate this. Um, making it is just so annoying. Like it's, it's really pretty, I understand, but oh my god, making this skull and then the drips and trying to like fit your hook through an area because you make the you make the top half green, and then you make the bottom half red, and then you go back up to the green part, and you start doing the skull and the drips, right? So you're having to, like, sort of fight right next to this red in order to work on all the green, and it was annoying. I hate anything that's really, like, in tight spaces. So I don't think that I'm going to be adding this to my store. However, I've made it, and it was a interesting experience, you know? I'm at least glad that I got the chance to have this experience, um, because otherwise I wouldn't have known and I'd still be sitting here going, man, I wonder how it's like to make those poison apples. It's just, uh, well, for one, the pattern is in sport weight yarn and I use worsted weight. For two, I am just not the type of person who has the patience to make a skull out of dripping, oozing looking yarn. October is almost over at this point. Um, it's... What day is it? It is October 27th, currently. Um, so I'm definitely not going to have these new things out by Halloween, you know? Um, but I will start working on the candy corn, um, see how that goes. We'll finish this video out. It's just going to be in November when this video up to, up, up dudes. <sighs> oh boy. 
Alright, so I am currently looking for a candy corn pattern and I think I'm going to go with the one from Lion Brand. So I will try to link it in the description maybe. Um, all the other ones that I have seen are either like too flat sort of or too round for the lion one. The lion brand one looks nice. I just have to find where here it is. Download the pattern. Ooh, okay. So I am going to get started on that now. To be honest, this candy corn is two times the size I expected it to be, but I'm not mad. I kind of like the size, you know, it's... I just showed you the back of it. It's nice, you know, I was expecting it to be this big, and it's actually this big, but you know. I like it. I think it's good. It's going to be something that I add to the store. So if you would like a little candy corn that's two size two two times the size I expected it to be, um, I'm putting all of the Halloween stuff off of the store November 15th, and this video comes out the 8th. So you'll have a week from when this video gets uploaded. To pick this up otherwise you'll see it next year in the store that is it for this video we made a poisoned apple and candy corn to be honest i'm kind of rethinking the poisoned apple maybe i should sell them in the store let me know in the comments what you think about the poisoned apple it will be somewhat expensive because it's big definitely putting this in the store halloween stuff it's uh, taken down November 15th, and then we will put up the Christmas stuff so everybody can get a little bit um, ready for Christmas, you know? Either way, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and anything that you have seen in this video, you can head on over to thetranquilshop.com and bye. <laughs> bye.